What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 16 beta 7 to register developers about one week after the previous beta and this one should be out for public beta testers very soon. Now in addition to this iOS release, Apple also released iPadOS 16 beta 7, which is actually iPadOS 16.1 beta 1 and I'll explain that later on but we also got watchOS 9 beta 7 tvOS 16 beta 7 and homepod OS 16 beta 7 no Mac OS Ventura update just yet but of course we're talking all about iOS and iPad OS so let's first take a look at the size of this update and it came in around 300 megabytes for most devices if you're coming from beta 6 and you can see here it came in at 336 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max now as far as the build number if we go to our settings general about we can see the build number here is 20A5356A so we do have an A at the end of the build number which does indicate we are very close to an RC and of course a final release and if we go down a little bit more you could see the modem firmware is 2.09.01 for the iPhone 13 series all right so now what's new here in beta 7 and the first thing I noticed is that on the lock screen you will notice that the album artwork is a little bit bigger than it was on beta 6 so it got smaller in beta 6 compared to beta 5 and now in beta 7 Apple has enlarged it just a little bit more so Apple keeps tweaking with this but it has has been changed again here in beta 7. And speaking of the lock screen, if we go to customize our lock screen and we go to move our widgets, you can see they move a lot more smoothly now. I don't have as many issues moving my widgets around here on beta 7. Now it's still not perfect because I'm still not able to move a big one, you know, on the other side of small sized widgets. So Apple still needs to fix that up, but it does seem a little bit smoother when moving the small widgets around. Also, when I tap on the plus right here and I go to the featured section, if I go all the way down, you can see that the pride collection has been added to the featured section that was not there in beta 6 at least not for me we also have a fix for american express cards getting removed from the wallet application so now if you add your american express card back to the wallet it won't be removed just randomly and since i get this question every day i do also need to point out that the battery percentage has not been added to devices that did not get it initially so if you have an iphone 10r iphone 11 any device that did not get it initially you're not going to see the battery percentage toggle in beta 7 and like i mentioned earlier i don't think you're ever going to get it unfortunately all right so moving on on to the latest iPad OS 16 build as you can see here it says your iPad has been updated to iPad OS 16.1 so as I alluded to in the intro the seventh beta of iPad OS 16 is actually the first technical beta of iPad OS 16.1 so if you go into your settings here and go to general about you could see it does say iPad OS version 16.1 right there instead of 16.0 and you can see the build number is 20BB5027F so it does have an F at the end of the build number which indicates we probably have a few more betas of 16.1 to go before it's released to the public now if you're confused it's because Apple is going to skip iPad OS 16.0 and go straight to iPad OS 16.1 and this is because Apple has confirmed that this is going to be delayed iPad OS is going to be delayed until October like we previously saw rumors and according to TechCrunch, they will be skipping iPadOS 16, like I said, and going straight to iPadOS 16.1. And here's what Apple said in that statement. This is an especially big year for iPadOS as its own platform with features specifically designed for iPad. We have the flexibility to deliver iPadOS on its own schedule. This fall, iPadOS will ship after iOS as version 16.1 and a free software update. So if you have an iPad, that is what to expect in the future. Now, as for iPadOS, 16.1 and what's new we do have a few changes to stage manager of course that's going to be the majority of the focus for iPad OS 16 really throughout its entire life is going to be on stage manager because that is the biggest and probably the hardest feature to get right for Apple so now if you go into stage manager and you have two windows open of the same apps so you can see Safari right here you could see this plus icon up here in the top left is now more obvious it stands out more to add more windows to that application and then also if we're in stage manager and we swipe over from the left side right here you can see we have this little arrow right here and we can pull out and we can see the applications we currently have open right there which is a nice little touch something I was missing in previous builds and just playing around with stage manager a little bit here on 16.1 it definitely feels smoother than it was on any previous version of iPad OS 16 so again that's going to be Apple's main focus and it shows right here we do still have a few betas to go but I would expect it to continuously get better over time but as far as iOS 16 beta 7 goes I'm not really seeing anything else new here.
here in this update now there might be some minor code changes and some verbiage changes that i just haven't noticed yet but i will let you guys know in my apple weekly episode this weekend if i do discover those new changes now we're not expecting too much from this build or really anything else from here on out because apple did just recently conclude the development of ios 16. this was indicated in a report from bloomberg so with that being said you know you're not really expecting any major new features to come until the point update like the 16.1 is where we'll see more new features and changes but for now it's probably going to be mostly bug fixes and a security enhancements and speaking of security enhancements i did get a lot of questions about if the bugs that were patched in 15.6.1 are also patched in ios 16 beta 6 and my answer to that was no probably not but they probably are fixed here in beta 7. so if you were worried about that which I said it before it's not a huge deal but if you are really you know concerned and really aware of your security then of course you do want to update to ios 16 beta 7 which you probably already were going to regardless now taking a look at the release notes here there's nothing too crazy mentioned in these release notes but we do have a fix for this right here with accessibility it says resolved in ios 16 beta 7 the pointer won't behave correctly on the external display if the assistive touch accessibility feature is enabled so if you had that pretty specific bug that has been resolved. We also have a fix for the iCloud bug and it says after purchasing a new domain and creating a custom email address, you might be offered to purchase the domain again. So that has been addressed here in beta seven. And then we do also have a fix for Amex cards. Like I mentioned, you just have to re-add them to the wallet application. But unfortunately, the only bug I really cared about is still a known issue. It is still not fixed here in beta seven. And that is the issue with moving a remind me message to another mailbox does not remove the remind me banner. So I use that a lot in the mail app and that's still not been addressed for some reason but as far as bugs go here in beta 7 i haven't really noticed anything new just yet but i know in beta 6 i did have an issue with when i rebooted my device or i left out of a focus mode sometimes my lock screen and my home screen would turn completely black and i would have to manually go into my lock screen here and change it to another one and change it back to get my wallpaper back instead of just being pitch black. So for some reason, that still was not fixed in beta six. I'm hoping it is fixed here in beta seven. And then also on the lock screen, when you tap on the album artwork right here, you could see the music platter still has this little jitter to it, which definitely seems very clunky and like it's not meant for a final public release. So hope Apple fix that where it doesn't jitter like that every time you change the lock screen. Now, as far as performance goes, performance feels even smoother than beta six so far. And I don't usually say that, you know, on my initial what's new video, but so far this feels extremely stable and that is kind of expected for an A build because that means we are pretty close to a final release, but so far everything feels very, very smooth. Safari messages, you know, I did a lot of multitasking, opening up applications, everything feels very good so far. Now, if we check out the Geekbench scores, I did run a quick Geekbench test. You can see we scored a 1734 on the single core and a 4813 on the multi-core. And if we compare that to beta six, you could see that the single core is slightly lower, but the multi-core is higher. So of course it's hard to tell, you know, performance just based off these scores, but the multi-core is the highest we've seen in iOS 16 yet. And then when it comes to the battery life, I think it's too early to tell yet if battery life has improved over beta six. However, I would not expect a major improvement over the previous beta and as i mentioned in my previous apple weekly episode i wouldn't really expect any more battery enhancements from here on out i think this is probably going to be what we're going to see with the final version of ios 16. we probably won't see battery enhancements until like a 16.1 or 16.2 and i'm not complaining about that because battery life is pretty good here on ios 16. now i don't think it's as good as ios 15 but it's still pretty good and you get to take advantage of all those new features so it's kind of expected to have slightly lower battery life at least in the beginning all right so now let's talk about what to expect next from apple so next week is interesting because we could see either a beta 8 or we could even see the rc build next week at the end of august maybe on the 29th through the 31st we should see one of the two now if we see ios 16 beta 8 that would mean that the rc build will come the following week right there on september 7th after apple's you know september event 
Now, if we get the RC next week, that means that we should probably see an RC2 after the Apple event on September 7th. So it's hard to say right now because Apple is extremely unpredictable when it comes to like the final beta or the final build of a major iOS release. So just expect one beta next week, but we don't know for sure if it's going to be a beta 8 or an RC or Apple could completely skip next week and just release the RC on September 7th after the event. That is also a possibility. And then of course, after we get that RC build or RC2 build, we will see the final release of iOS 16, most likely on September 12th, but it really could be any day that week of September 12th because Apple does have to get that update out before the new iPhones ship on September 16th. So there you have it. That is iOS 16 beta 7 and iPadOS 16.1 beta one are they going to call it beta one or beta seven not too sure but ipad os 16.1 as well with some improvements to stage manager so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you're excited for ios 16 it's coming just around the corner but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 16 coverage coming very very soon but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon